let me see you. If you're new, make sure you subscribe because I mean you're gonna like it. Just try it out right now. Anyways, this is my Q&A video. I already have one, an, another one on my page from like last summer, but I mean this past summer. This past summer? Yeah, like spring, summer. So I'm doing another one. I'm gonna try to do a lot more and I'm also gonna work on doing like topic videos. I'm gonna see how well that goes. Just as a little reveal, my first topic video is gonna be on confidence, self-confidence. Anyways, hopping right into it. I got a lot, a lot of questions. So I'm gonna do as much as I can without making the video too long. How do you heal your piercings or avoid hair products on your ear piercings? I don't think you can, I mean, unless you cover it up with something, but it's really, really hard not to get hair product into my ear piercings. I don't really have that much anymore. I constantly take mine out. I mean, I have a couple of my lobe. I have the rook over here. And then I have, um, I used to have the industrial bar, but I took the bar out and I'll just wear like individual, like jewelry. But for the most part, if I'm doing something really like big and massive on my hair, I'll just take the jewelry out first and then do what I'm doing. But that's only if, for you, for example, if your piercings are healed. If they aren't healed completely, then of course you can't take them out and do whatever and then put them back in. But to heal, I know during my healing process, because I used to get a lot of keloids, I use coconut oil and saline solution type, salt water type, to clean. I make sure I didn't over clean or under clean. Did you go to college? Why or why not? Um, yes, I'm currently in college. I am in my last semester. I'm graduating in May with um, my BA in English and Sociology. I'm in three different honor societies as well as the captain of my dance team and choreographer. And I went originally, I'm, I'm going to college because I thought I had to. I'm also first generation and I don't know. I thought originally going into college, I went in as a business major. I didn't really know what I was gonna do. I didn't like business at all. And I love to write, of course. I'm a poet and I wanna be an author. But you know, people usually wanna go towards careers that is very promising when it comes to the money aspect. And that's just not the type of person I am. And eventually, after growing to learn that, um, I felt more comfortable with my decision to stay to college and even to change my major. How do you get so much volume? I assume with my curly hair, because right now I got my dreadlocks. Um, well, with volume, because, I mean, like, it may look like my hair is really thick, but my hair is not thick at all. It's actually very fine. Like, it grows out straight and then it curls. Um, and I do have a lot of volume, and I think a lot of it because of frizz. But, I mean, I try to control it to where it, does, it looks more volume rather than frizz. So, when I wash my hair, I do a wash and go, or I, or I um, refresh in my curls, I just make sure that the middle to the ends are very defined and then I pick out just the just a bit of my root that way it, the hair kind of sits on top of each other and it's kind of like out but when I put something in my hair where it's like very very defining my hair can get really really flat which I don't like at all what hair oils do you use I am a faithful organic black castor oil user I love black castor oil and now I've been using the black castor oil from Rooted Treasure and it's so good. It's the best I've ever used. I use it for my piercings. I use it, of course, for my face, for my hair. When I seal my hair after washing, right before I moisturize or right after I moisturize, it's so, so, so good. It's really good. I really like it. And of course, I use coconut oil. Usually I use coconut oil like for my body, but I do put it in my hair here and there. 
But when it comes to oils for like my hair, it's nine times out of 10 organic black castor oil. What is your career? Um, I think I'm a little, oh my God, I almost, <laughs> I think I'm a little too young to um, say that my career is this or so that. I'm so versatile and I wanna do so many different things and I feel like career is so minute. Like it doesn't really, it, it's not enough for what I want to do or what I wanna be. Like I wanna be a motivational speaker and I wanna be an entrepreneur and I wanna be an author and I wanna be the face of my own products. Like I wanna do things like that where it's just kind of like there is no one description. You just have to make sure that you're moisturizing your hair. That way you don't overuse it or put too much in your hair, like, you know, without noticing. I make sure I put, like, castor oil in my hair or, like, a, a cream moisturizer on my hair before I put the color on. And then, um, and then sometimes you don't have to put that much on because you can gradually add it on your hair as you go on, um, like as the days go on or whatever. Because it's very, it's temporary. It could easily come out if you're in the rain and you just, dancing in the rain and you're touching your hair and it's like it comes out um you just have to make sure you're paying attention make sure that you're using the right products and all that stuff like that whoa where do you get your music for your short trailer videos i'm just like searching like short youtube video non-copyrighted as long as it's not non-copyrighted um for the most part you use whatever just get i get off of youtube sometimes i convert it sometimes i just it's already like on my laptop or on my phone and i just use it but like really really popular songs that's like out now whatever those aren't the best songs to use because they'll be copyrighted and like instagram will do stupid stuff and like take it off or do stuff to it change so what are some good books you recommend of course, poetry is on the top. Audrey Lord or Lorde, some people pronounce um, her name differently, and she's an amazing. She's um, she's deceased, but she's an amazing poet, and I um, I recognize her. I see myself in her and her writing. Um, she's a poet. She was uh, open about sexuality. She was a warrior. She was Afro Caribbean. And I just related to her so much. Even how she wrote her rhyme scheme is beautiful. And you could like search her up, you could find her. Like you'll find her. Her work, her poetry, she's amazing. She's queen. Oh, oh definitely the five languages of love. And this is so good because it helped with like, you know, like intimate relationships and friendships. You know, it explains the five different languages of love, of course, and you know what you will help you find what your love language is and how to appeal to other people's love language who are important to you and it helps really maintain relationships. Such a great, 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 great book by Gary Chapman. When did you get your first tattoo and what does it mean? I got my first tattoo when I was 14 or 15. Okay, so I got it on my right hip and it is a female symbol with a fist in it. Um, I'm gonna try to show you guys, but I'm probably not gonna add that. Um, yeah, but it's like, you know, it's there, whatever. It's probably like this big and it's rainbow color. It means a lot to me. It's my it was my first tattoo, of course. It's the only tattoo on the right side of my body. First theme of all my tattoos, I wanted to be on the left side of my body. So it's the only one on that side. And I wanted to be the only one on that side because it was, it was really important to me at the time. Dealing with my sexuality and dealing with the acceptance of my sexuality and people around me and what I was dealing with at the time and then, you know, and the people who were there for me, my close friends at the time. I just felt like I really, if I was gonna get a tattoo and I was already being very deviant and rebellious with it because I was 14, 15, I really wanted, wanted it to mean something. So it was really, really important to me because it means like, it means it's my identity or it has a lot to do with my identity, like, you know, it, it, um, and it's just, it can't be erased. I also have a video on my page that explains my tattoo. I'm gonna do another one just for my tattoo later on because I did get a couple more since I did that video. But if you wanna learn a little bit more about my tattoos that I already have, just look at that video.